A lot of these patients who've had COVID and have recovered from their acute illness, uh, we're finding them coming into clinic with symptoms such as chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations and lightheadedness. One of the, the main things we're trying to work out is has there been COVID-related heart injury and is that ongoing? So then we have to decide based on their presentation whether they need some, some special tests such as additional imaging, either echocardiography or MRI, to work out if there's still an active process going on. However, if those tests are negative, it's still reassuring because then we can effectively take those things out of, you know, out of the equation for those patients and we can keep looking and trying to work out what's driving their symptoms. If there's any evidence of basically heart muscle dysfunction on subsequent imaging, then we have appropriate medical therapies that support the heart to help it recover to get back to a normal state. In this evolving space, uh, patients are presenting with undifferentiated symptoms and that's where working hand in hand with, with a broad kind of base of, of specialists who are then going to, you know, basically, you know, liaise with each other, discuss individual patients to try and get to actual, you know, what, what's the root of the problem that's, you know, that, that's, uh, that the patient is facing. So I think it's going to lead to, to better outcomes for these patients by having this team working together and kind of working, you know, in, in, in harmony with regards to their ongoing care.